Welcome to Business Reports. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited NNPCL has denied owing international oil traders $6.8 billion. Now, the state owned energy firm also refuted claims that it has failed to remit funds into the Federation account since January. In a statement on Sunday, NNPC's uh, Chief Corporate Communications Officer, Olufemi Shone, responded to various allegations against the company while acknowledging that NNPC's uh, fuel import transactions are conducted on credit. Shone did not specify the financial obligations the company is currently addressing. Regarding remittances, Shone stated that it is incorrect to claim that the company limited has not remitted any funds to the Federation account in January. He said that the NNPCL and its subsidiaries regularly remit their taxes to the Federal Inland Revenue Service, including payment of CIT to road contractors under the Road Investment Tax Credit Scheme. The chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, Zak Adediji, says an executive bill is being prepared for submission to the National Assembly. This bill seeks to overhaul Nigeria's revenue administration, including the regulation of the cryptocurrency industry. Adedeji made this announcement on Saturday during a stakeholder's engagement with a joint committee of the National Assembly on Finance held here in Lagos. According to a statement by Dari Adekombi, Adedeji Special Advisor on Media, the aim of the proposed bill is to simplify tax laws, harmonize revenue collection, and replace outdated tax laws with new ones that align with the current economic landscape. Regarding the FIRS revenue target of 19.4 trillion naira for this year, Adedeji stated that the agency is on track to achieve this goal. We are almost the quarter of the year, and I'm saying that from the figure we are seeing by the special grace of Almighty God, that we are on the path to make sure that we achieve 19.4 trillion target. So it's not a matter of what plan do we have now, it is actualization of our plan, because we are eight months gone already, and then we know what we've seen. So achieving 19.4 trillion uh, is achievable. The plan first is to have the law uh, that regulates it, and that is why you say that we are here with the legislature, which will be the, for the, the base of charging, and that is done in every other place in the world, that when you have this new innovation of system, uh, so you just have to get ready for it because you can't go away from it. So we just have to plan to regulate it in such a way that it is not uh, injurious to the economic development of Nigeria. We work together with everyone else in order to give this country the right, the right legislations for tax collection and what have you in terms of revenue. So. Uh, the synergy is excellent, and I believe that uh, with what the current leadership of Everest is doing, uh, we are going to be hitting our target. So far, you can hear what the chairman have said based on the target we have uh, given him. But with those laws that have been so old, even before the independence of this country, will be modified. And uh, I am sure by the time we resume back from our recess, they are going to uh, the executive will submit the the executive bills in order for us to be able to amend all these acts and repeal them and reenact the ones that will go with the system, I mean with the current trends uh, in the environment. Looking at innovations, you can see cryptocurrency today has become one of the largest ways of making money. And in Nigeria, we don't have any law to guide that. So with uh, what FIRS is doing and the legislators, we are synergizing to make sure that we come out with a legislation that will give Nigeria the best in getting much revenue in order to take care of all the challenges that we have, with both in uh, infrastructures, human capital development, and, and so on. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.